Okay, folks, Rob here. It's really windy out here today, so I hope you can hear me. But uh, I have mounted the, and this gun is unloaded. There's no ammunition in it. Uh, magazine's unloaded. We have mounted our Galtar uh, red dot on it. I did use the mid-10 bore cider. Stuck it to the end of the barrel and uh, roughly bore sided. Uh, we're going to take a few shots down there with it and see if I'm close. Uh, the, I'm going to be using my little uh, uh, hunt pal, my little hunt pal rest today. And this thing. Guys, one of the reasons I like this stuff so much is this is like super light. I mean, literally, it is super light, super easy to adjust. Uh, I mean, it's that quick to set up. And, uh, you know, it's just that easy. <laughs> and it weighs nothing, you know, so. And to uh, lock your legs in different positions so you turn... Turn that, oh wait, you gotta put them in. But you can turn it there and make it taller, which uh, is pretty good for, you ain't even seeing that. So, you know, you twist this ring here and it locks it or unlocks it. So, make it higher or lower like that and wider base. Uh, sturdier so I think uh, that's that's pretty good and then all you got to do is screw on your yoke here and uh, the other one's really light the little uh, base is really light you can stick it in the pocket this one you could too but this one has a little more height adjustability so uh, I'm going to use it for the test today with the uh, Beretta we're just going to be using some auto match. Nothing special. We're just zeroing it in. Just a little update. Uh, Sheila had to take herself and Macy back to the doctor this morning. Uh, Macy tested positive for COVID. So uh, she has COVID and is very sick. Sheila tested negative but has been sick but not like Macy. Macy is seriously sick. So that little girl is sick as I've ever seen her in her 14 years of uh, being on this earth. She's a sick little girl. Uh, and uh, myself, I kind of I kind of feel the same way I did when I had COVID before. You know, I would wake up at night uh, 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 chilling, but I wouldn't have a fever, which I thought was really un odd. To, to chill and not have a fever, but that's the way it is. It's the way it was last time I had it. I feel just weak and tired and short of breath. And other than that, that's about the only symptoms I've I've got, if I have it. I don't know that I have it for sure, but I know I haven't been feeling well. Uh, I'll have to get tested tomorrow before I go back to work. So hopefully I don't have it and uh, can get back to work. Uh, I don't feel great, but I think I can. I think I can handle work if I can, if I can go back. If I don't have COVID. So anyway, enough about that. I'm always rambling about myself and my family, and uh, you're here to see shooting, not uh, me talk about myself or my kids or my wife or my family. But I know we all got them, so we all have that in common. So. Put in my hair and protection. We'll put 10 rounds in there. And just for just for kicks, uh, I'm gonna take a shot down there in that three inch steel target and uh, just see if I'm even close. And how close this little dot got us from the get go and the, the bore cider. So Let's just see if I'm anywhere near where I need to be. Sure, 
through them, shaking like a leaf. That's too low. Oh, I better not do that. I was, I was called unsafe for uh, just my rest one time with my pistol. Uh, said I would get kicked out of their range. Uh, they left a comment said that I would be kicked out of their range for uh, adjusting my rest while uh, having my pistol. So, you know, I don't want to be unsafe. Uh, I'm almost 60 years old, never had a discharge or a, but you know, we got to keep people happy. Well, I hit it, so we're within three inches. I'm a shaking like a leaf. I don't know how I hit it. <laughs> Missed it that time. Let's go over to our paper. I'm gonna shoot. Dang boys, I don't know. I'm so shaky. Get the four inch down there. Yeah, hit it. And that's our first 10 rounds. So I'm going to walk down there and see uh, if we need to make any adjustments to our red dot. So I'll be right back. Shooting to the right, just a tad high. So I already made my adjustment for my windage. I'll take her down just a little. And we'll load her up again and uh, see what she does. I'll put us 10 more rounds in there. Hopefully I moved it the right way. On these red dots, I always screw up and go opposite the way I need to go. So the little three inch, we were probably shooting to the right of it. Although I can't hold still to save my life. It's turned out to be a pretty day here in Kentucky. I think they were given a I have about 76 for today, which is for uh, October, that's pretty good. But we have it that way sometimes. I remember one uh, New Year's Day, I played golf in a t-shirt on New Year's Day. So, you know, it could go either way here. You could be really warm or colder and crap. You just never know in Kentucky. I'm aiming for that three inch, or see if I can hit it now. Or did I go the wrong way? I hit it. Hit it again. Failure to feed. The little guy, the little, uh, little browning don't mess up too often. Bullet kind of dug in. One gun that don't uh, don't misfunction too often. But they all do on occasion. 
Yeah, I can easily hit that three inch. Three inches and 25 yards with the 22 pistol. I'd call that pretty good. rocked it back to where I can't uh, can't see it now it gets caught up on the on the arms see how that wants to do wants to go up and hang up on the hook I'm gonna take I'm gonna set you right here I'm gonna go back there and take a few shots at the three inch. Just a couple. All right, y'all might have been able to see where they hit better than I could. All right, guys, that was a look at the Galtar 2MOA Red Dot. It's also made for an RMR cut. comes with the uh, Picatinny rail adapter, but it will fit an RMR cut. Which one, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, there's several different RMR cuts. There's, uh, I don't know all the... the different ones but because that's a field I'm not familiar with and uh, but I apologize for saying showing you all the same old stuff all the time uh, I hope you don't get bored of watching and seeing me shoot the same guns all the time uh, because uh, basically it's all the guns I got uh, trying to get some new stuff for the channel I got one in layaway that's a new caliber that I haven't had or shot in years so that's coming to the channel. Channel. Uh, that's in layaway, uh, and uh, I've been shopping around for some other stuff. There's some great rebates going on right now, so uh, some good rebates going on. And uh, guys, don't forget to go over and check out our four Mississippi Thunders uh, page and get in on the uh, thousand subscriber giveaway for that Heritage Barkeep boot, uh, the bootlegger edition in the little wooden box with the shot glasses and and uh you know the stuff that comes with it so don't forget to go over and do that and uh you know uh i appreciate everybody that watches uh and uh continued prayers for my family and my daughter and myself sheila and uh, that we all get over she gets over the covid and we get over our little bit of sickness here and uh, continue on. Anyway guys, have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you on the next video.